subject. Now, listen up, ladies. Ladies, according to a new study, if you want to get ahead in business, yeah, listen up good, you should be flirting with your male co-workers. Carrie, listening. But, <laughs> but, but not too much. Back off. Just a bit. Uh, to help you find the right balance, we're crossing out a Kitty Flanagan. Kitty, how much flirting is too much? Gosh, Charlie, I really don't know. Um, I think you'd know better than I would. Okay. Loving your work tonight. Great stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, see what I did? I just flirted. And sure, it was pretty subtle. But I employed some textbook flirting techniques there. And I was hoping to replay that bit and pause it to show you exactly how those techniques work. But we're having a few technical difficulties up in here in Sydney. So apparently I have to do the replay myself manually. So just going to give it a minute. And here we go with the replay. Gosh, Charlie, I really don't know. <laughs> I think you'd know better than I would. <laughs> and by the way, loving your work tonight, great stuff. <laughs> yeah, I imagine most men are finding me quite irresistible right now. Yeah. Um, look, I don't, I don't mean to interrupt, Kitty, but I... If anything, I found it a bit, well, a bit creepy, particularly in the slow-mo. Um, and, and if anything, a bit obsequious. Shut up, Charlie. What are you... Shut up. What do you even know anyway? I mean, I mean sorry. I mean, oh, shush up, you. <laughs> OK, let's get to some facts. Now, in a test to see who could get a better deal on a car, apparently the women who flattered and winked at the salesman... They got an average of $93 off the ticket price. <laughs> Ooh, 93 bucks. I think I would rather keep my dignity than wink at a car salesman for 93 bucks. Now, Kitty, this might sound rude, but does flirting only work for really good-looking women? Oh, Dave, that's not rude. That is such a good question. <laughs> The answer is no. Apparently, two of the best flirts on the political world stage were Margaret Thatcher and Madeleine Albright. Charismatic women, yes, but hardly pretty young things. But they often got what they wanted by working their feminine charm. If you have a look, here's Margaret Thatcher meeting with Ronald Reagan, and I believe this was where he's telling her it's time to get out of the Falkland Islands, to which she's replying, Oh, shush now, Ron, you silly Billy. That's not going to happen. But my goodness me, you look handsome in that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. I'm done. I really hope you enjoyed tonight as much as I did, especially you, Charlie and Dave. Carrie, obviously, I don't care so much what you think. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Kitty Flanagan, thank you. We will see you next week. Thank you, Kitty Flanagan, at the Theatre Sydney this Saturday night. Check out the website for all the details.